everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Deep Thoughts. And today we are talking all about Vinland Saga, Episode 9, The Battle of London Bridge. Before we get into it though, I do want to say a quick thank you to those of you who shared last week's video over on Twitter, namely, at Andrea Lorenzi 96 at Skyrio11, and at Nacho Gachardo. Thanks so much for sharing last week's video, you guys. It is super appreciated, and if you too would like to get your name shouted out in next week's Vinland Saga video, then be sure to share this video around on the internet, and then tag me at Jojo talks too much, and I will be sure to shout you out in next week's video. With that said, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start this with the only real starting line I can give, and that is, oh my god, London Bridge is not actually falling down, falling down, falling down. Sorry, you know I had to. With a title like that, given where we were, yeah. I, I had to make the joke, I'm sorry. I'm not even really sorry. I was happy to make the joke. It, it, it pleases me to make that joke. I'm not gonna lie to you. Another thing I won't lie about is the sheer quality of this episode. This is what I expect from Vinland Saga at this point. This episode managed to really surprise with just the amount of hype action it had. And we will get into that as we go, but even like just the conversations between characters and the further cementing of Thorfinn's situation being trapped under the thumb of Ashlad without even really being aware that that is in fact the case. It's a really solid episode. And again, just like across the board, really solid. Let's go ahead and start with the, the first conversation we hear in the episode, namely the one between Bjorn and Ashlad. Now this was a surprise because it shows a side of Bjorn that I wasn't familiar with. Now Bjorn tells Ashlad like, these guys are just in it for money, that's kind of scummy, and Ashlad's like, why do you think we are here? <laughs> we are also in it for the money because we think they, they'll, they're they gonna win. Whereas Bjorn is sort of put off by that. Bjorn likes money just as much as the next Viking, but he's there because he just wants to kill. Which tells me that Bjorn's there just because he, much like Thorkel later on, just likes a good fight. He is a Viking through and through. He just wants to whoop ass and chew bubblegum, and the man's all out of bubblegum. And Ashlad, on the opposite end of the spectrum, is just as much of a competent fighter as Bjorn. Obviously, he's not as he doesn't have as much strength, but he's more of a clever, like uh, clever on the battlefield type of fighter. But Ashlad continues to be far more shrewd than Bjorn. Ashlad's focus isn't just on uh, on money, but it's also not just on fighting. It's sort of just keeping himself alive, letting himself live, uh, live comfortably without having to put himself in any kind of jeopardy, usually sending poor Thorfinn off to do things. And Thorfinn just continues to only care about vengeance. Thorfinn would be a really good, like, young Bruce Wayne. <laughs> He's just, everything is vengeance. I am the knight. I am Thorfinn. It's almost sad to see Thorfinn, like, getting thrown into all these situations at Ashlad's prod. Like, the, the man keeps, like, pushing him into these situations, like, promising that he'll fight him in, in true combat, but you know, like, it's, the, he's never gonna win. Ash, or at least it's not gonna be for a while. Ashlad's just far, a far better fighter, a far more clever, and honestly sort of dirty fighter than Thorfinn is. And the man just continues to use his hate and vengeance against him. Ashlad's constantly dangling the idea of killing him on a string and Thorfinn just goes along with it because the man just wants vengeance. He's playing him like a fiddle. Kaz, could you please explain to the man how he is being played? They played us like a damn fiddle! And then we get into Thorkel and the negotiation scene between him and Floki, who might I add, Floki is a punk. <laughs> like, Floki does not have anywhere near the same spirit as his fellow Vikings do, and that's like across the board. He doesn't have the, the, the shrewd nature of Ashlad, he doesn't have the warrior's like passion that that guys like Bjorn or Thor's or Thorkel or even Thorfinn has. Honestly, at this point, I'd be surprised if Floki is even really as tough as he looks. Like th Floki is just sort of, I don't know. I, I don't like this character. He, like he's, I think he's meant to be sort of just like this freaking guy. And I, I especially don't like him obviously because of what happened to Thor's, but he really does not have the same Viking spirit as the other characters do. And, and Thorkel, Thorkel is a big man with a big dream, and that dream is to have a damn good fight. My boy Thorkel absolutely suffers from the Saitama syndrome, where he became so he became so powerful <laughs> that nobody else could touch him. 
and now all he wants is to feel that thrill of battle again, and he does kind of get it here, but at the same time, it's it's not quite, it doesn't quite satisfy, you know, he's still not getting that big fight that he wants to have so bad, and when Floki offers him money in exchange for like, no, come back to our side so we can just steamroll through this place and take London, he scoffs at this idea because the whole reason he's even joined up with the Londoners is because he knows they would have lost anyway, and he just wants a damn good fight. That's all this man wants. And it makes Thorkell easily one of the most entertaining characters we've seen on the show thus far. This man is full of charm, full of laughs, like the man just wants to fight, but he's like full of this sort of like zest for life. He's, he's a passionate dude, and he's a big dude too. Like this, this man is huge. And like, I don't know, there's just something like he's he's larger than life and he's so entertaining to see on screen. That said, let's go ahead and jump into the Battle of London Bridge a little bit. Now, the animation on the boats, uh, I will say, is sort of hit and miss. I, I guess they never miss, huh? But the animation, uh, it, it ranges from going from like pretty decent looking 3D CG where, where it's almost not even really noticeable. Like it's noticeable, but it's not like, it doesn't take you out. And then there's other shots where it, it is kind of rough looking, but it's only like for like really brief, like maybe two second flashes and then it cuts back to something in 2D. It's done, in my opinion, quite well. And uh, if you don't like the boats, well, don't worry because the whole log dropper scene where <laughs> Thorkel just straight up picks up logs and launches them at the boats like torpedoes, that's a thing that happened and it takes the, the 3D boats out of the show. So if you didn't like them, they're gone for this episode anyway. And this, of course, leads up to Thorkel versus Thorfinn, Battle of the Thors. Uh, oh, Thors. <laughs> this just made me sad. But, like, yeah, Battle of the Thor, and then a suffix at the end. This fight is probably the thing that I saw talked about the most on Twitter. Uh, it wasn't spoiled for me. Like, I just saw people going, like, dude, the fight, oh my god. Like, so I knew Thorfinn was going to get into some kind of crazy fight. And it seemed like most people attributed this to uh, Ari, uh, Arifumi Imai. Now, that wouldn't surprise me. And I'm pretty sure I, I checked Sakugaboru and it looks like he does animate like the big moment that I think everybody was talking about. The the big like Thorfinn like jump, like the first moment that these two cross cross paths where Thorfinn like jumps on the log and, and, and they have like the big first confrontation of him like dodging underneath it and trying to swipe at him. It's a damn good fight but there's also other parts in the fight that don't seem to be done by Imai so I would like to see which animator that was because they did phenomenally like everybody who worked on this particular scene the Th uh, Thorkel versus Thorfinn deserves huge praise because it was really like phenomenally done I can't show the actual animation unfortunately it's one of the the negative draws to these videos is unfortunately I can't convey just how damn cool and fluid and spectacular this this fight was the way the characters moved felt like everything had weight to it like the way like Thorfinn drops down like and then spins around like it felt like you you felt the momentum I'm actually trying to do it in my chair right now like he he, he really did feel like he had real weight to him and, and that's some impressive stuff so yeah big kudos to them and I mean this may as well have been an attack on titan fight right here because Thorfinn versus Thorkel was like watching Aaron versus a Titan. Like it was just, and I mean like baby Aaron. Like this is just, it was unfair. That said, Thorfinn does get a couple good jabs, but overall Thorkel just like destroys him. Uh, to quote Olin Rogers, just takes him to prom, drops him off, doesn't even pay. Just, pfft. and it's not even like it ends well for Thorfinn either. This man gets abandoned by Ashlad. This, this Ashlad just sails off. He just says, screw Thorfinn. I mean, I knew he had to, and I knew that he would, but it's still, like, harsh stuff, and I, I part of me wishes, and I, I knew it wouldn't happen, but part of me wishes that Thorfinn just stayed, just stayed with Thorkel, because Thorkel and Thorfinn hanging out, and, like, Thorkel showing Thorfinn, like, no, there's, like, a, there's, there's, there's an element to battle that you are missing, man. Like, it's, like, it's not, like, yeah, like, it's brutal and tough, but, like, you don't have the same reverence for it that Thor's had, or, or the love for it that I have. Like, you 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 still have a lot to learn, too, kid. Like, I kind of, I, I almost wanted to see that, like a buddy, 
I, I almost said buddy cop, but I guess buddy Viking story with Thorkel and Thorfinn hanging out. I knew that Thorfinn would leave, but like, man, I wanted to see that real bad. At least Thorkel like knew who Thorfinn was by the end. I was kind of worried that they wouldn't, that wouldn't have been revealed, but he, he is aware who Thorfinn is by the end and even like waves him goodbye and, and makes him promise that they'll fight again someday. And I thought that was pretty neat. It was overall a really solid action scene that ended on a really good note. But as with any war, there must always come the post battle and post battle was disturbing <laughs> seeing all these bodies and then you hear some dude go hey does anybody want to be killed i can do that for you if you'd like like straight up walking around offering death to, to soldiers who need it like it felt genuine i guarantee you that definitely probably happened and it's just like gnarly man like that scene was like oof that was a little too real that was a little <laughs> That was a little cold, and apparently um, the prince, Canuit, uh, Canuit, uh, uh, whatever, the princeling is going to be the one who continues the battle for London. Seems flimsy, but I guess the king wants uh, wants the prince to like prove his worth in some capacity. I guess it doesn't look like it's really going to go down well. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But like nobody walks away from this battle happy. Ashlad is disappointed because he wanted to take London so he can get paid. I'm assuming Bjorn is upset because he didn't even get to fight. The king's upset because they didn't take London. Then you got Thorfinn who's beaten to hell and back, had to swim his way to shore. This poor kid. And then Thorkel's upset because they retreated and he didn't even get to have a, a glorious battle. Like they they just left and all he could do was fight Thorfinn for a little bit. That was that was the highlight of that man's day. Nobody's happy. Nobody wins. And now they're just abandoning London. Like like I said, they're leaving London to the prince, and then the rest of us are heading over to Wessex. And it's like this this scene in particular, like the last scene of the episode with Thorfinn just seething with hate like this kid is so mad and it just it breaks my heart because ash lad's just like hey man if it hurts to walk too much i'll just leave you here and thorfinn just like pops his shoulder back into place and then continues to stumble along with a sprained ankle walking to wessex and all ash lad can do is smirk like because he knows he's got this kid under his thumb and it's like Thorfinn, you don't even see. You're a puppet on strings, my boy. And like, he's holding a grudge now against Thorkel saying like, what's so great about battle anyway? And I'm like, man, this show should be called Everybody Hates Thorfinn. <laughs> this poor kid, I, I, I know some folks don't like Thorfinn and I get it, I, I truly do. But much like Aaron Yeager, I, I hold a torch for this kid and like seeing him go through all this just breaks my heart and I, and I, I know it's only gonna get worse. Ah, oh, poor Thorfinn. But that's pretty much gonna sum up my thoughts on this week's episode. Completely solid, loved it pretty much start to finish. Um, it's not like a, an S grade, but it is a very strong A grade episode. Like we're talking like just ever so close, barely missing that S grade episode. It was really good. On that note though, before I take off, as always, I have to give a big shout out to the good folks over on Patreon, namely those in the Earl Grey tier, Calvin Atkinson, Crowbar of Irony, Dominic, Urza, No For Nothing, Maria Teresa, Mirth Mouser, Nye, Omner Garamond, Opinionated Slime, Cell, Shadow Creative, Sipco Games, Somastan, Tristan, and Veridin. Thank you all so much for your continued support over on Patreon. It is super appreciated. And if you too would like to join the T-Squadron, then by all means, go ahead and check out the first link in the description. Check out the Patreon page. See all the cool rewards you can get, as well as access to our Patreon exclusive Discord. But on that note, everybody, that's going to be a video. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, you've probably been on the internet long enough to know what to do already. So I ain't going to tell you, but I will say that it is appreciated. And if you're feeling stressed out today, you go have yourself a warm cup of tea. And I'll talk to you all again real soon.